What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Simpson and welcome to the channel. So today we're changing it up a little bit. We got one night before we head out to Turkey Drag in the morning. So I've only got one night to do everything I need to do, which is me pushing it a little bit, but it's been a crazy week. I've been spending some late nights working at my buddy's shop, trying to help him out, get caught up. So once I get a little bit more comfortable there and he's cool with it, I might start recording some content there, you know, doing Chrome deletes and some other paint and body stuff. Really cool, besides the point. Tonight, uh, I don't know if I wanna tell you yet. I'll tell you, well, the title's probably gonna tell you, probably why you're gonna click on this anyway. So we're camoing the car. Yep, that's right. We're leaving the blue base, and then we've got We got three other colors that we're gonna be putting on. I'm not gonna show you guys yet. I'm not, I'll take them out of the box here in a second. So we're gonna have the blue vase and then we're gonna have three other colors as camo design or whatever. Now, just telling you guys this in the beginning as a, I don't know what the word is. Disclaimer is the word I was looking for. So disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have an idea of how this is supposed to happen and how I'm going to do it. So do with this information what you want. If you wanna try it my way, if you wanna try it a different way, if you wanna see this, take bits and pieces and kinda of do your own thing, please feel free. I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional at rapping, so I'm just letting all this out now. So with all that being said, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna use. So first off, we're gonna be using this 3M design line and we're gonna lay it on the car, make out our designs how we want so that it cuts the vinyl and we're not actually taking a razor blade. So we're not actually, well that one's dirty, but we're not actually taking a razor blade. This isn't what I'm gonna use, this is just dirty. To cut on the vinyl or paint if you're doing a different car because you don't wanna cut anything under that. So I'm not gonna show you guys the process of cleaning and getting everything done. The car is fairly clean. We're gonna do a wipe down real quick. I'm gonna get the material out. I'll show you guys the color. And I'm gonna throw on some music. Y'all guys might see the garage is a little different. Actually, show you guys this real quick. So we got the motor. Motor's good to go. Paint it, ready to go. There's the old 4.8. Silverado will be back on the road soon. Why is this on commercials? I don't wanna do commercials. But you guys can see, we got a TV in the garage now, so usually we just have music going out here, but I can't have music going while I'm recording. So, and of course, you know, I just threw me on the background for the fun of it, really. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this hood, but it's an old GTO hood. Might have fixed up and hang up on the wall or something. I'm rambling, I'm gonna get on with it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start on the passenger side. We got the whole passenger side wiped down. The rest of the car is kind of clean, but we'll go and we'll wipe each panel before we do it. We got the Mr. Craig, my main man, my buddy, uh, who helped me on the last wraps, who helps me with a lot of stuff. He's in most of my videos, but he's gonna be helping me lay the stuff down. Like I said, what time is it? Oh, let's see, it is five o'clock. So we are getting started officially at 5.02. So we'll see how long this takes. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just kind of winging it. This stuff right here is awesome. So you guys, if you have a heat gun and you've done this and you've burnt yourself, which most people have, I actually have scars on my arm from these heat guns. This stuff right here by Fusion Tools is called Afterburn Tape. This tape goes around the heating element. This part right here. Cause that's why it gets hot. This stuff's good stuff. So he's gonna put that on there. Oh, we forgot to do that. I'm gonna start laying some tape and kind of get this. I made a rough draft on my phone. So I kind of got an idea of what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go with the flow as I'm doing it. Hopefully that light's not really bright in the outside. And then I'll have him record as I'm laying some tape and then we'll get some material out and get rolling guys. Okay, so here is, y'all might see it. <laughs> so here is the line down. 
Now, all I did was just basically use this and I'll have Craig record me when I do some more, but I'm trying to get a feel for it. Like I said, guys, I've never done this before, so I don't know exactly how it's gonna look. We're just winging it, honestly. But that's all this is, is 3M design line. So we are using satin pearl white as one of the colors, which is gonna be really cool. I think I'm gonna, are you waving? Are you waving? at me on the camera. <laughs> it's really confusing. You made me think I had the camera the wrong direction. So Greg's a, being a clown. Uh, I'm gonna help him <laughs> cut some material. We're gonna get this stuff laid out, guys. All right. It is heavy, isn't it? I was complaining about that at SEMA, that setup, dude. My arm was killing me. Okay. All right, so we got the first piece laid on. You can see the satin pearl white. You can see the outline. I might want to get a little bit closer. You can't see from there. But you can see the outline of where the 3M design line is. So now what we're going to go do is we're going to go back through and cut those pieces out. You always want to leave enough extra so that you can get to that, which I probably should have left myself more, but I do this every time. Every time. All right. It's making me look bad. Hey. There it goes. Okay. So, once you got to start it, you're just going to get and you're just going to pull it at about, I don't know, 15, 20 degree angle. You want to follow that line. Keep it from snagging up at all. Can you see that from there? But you can see here's the string. It's the same stuff we used when we did all the door jams and stuff on the last wrap job. But if you didn't watch that, then you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So what you're gonna do is, come here. You're gonna go and you're gonna make sure you pull out this from behind the material. Make sure you get both sides. It's gonna, it's gonna cut it right down the middle. So you're gonna pull out. Both sides of that. There goes that. And then that part's done. And then you're just gonna to wanna to make sure you get those well, squeegees over there. So we'll make sure once you do that, you just go back through. I'm gonna give it a little bit of heat. Make sure that's all down. There's that part. Now we're gonna get this other piece cut out. And I'll show you guys that here in a second. We'll trim bottom, top, sides. We'll have part of one piece of camo. I know. You got it. All right, so you see that we only did the door panel. I did that so that I could tuck in the material a little bit instead of just having a clean cut going from panel to panel. It really depends on your background. It depends on a lot of variables. I decided to do this way. It would have been faster if we just did the whole camel piece, but this is how we're doing this because little things like that bother me and I think it's that little bit that makes a difference on jobs. So now I'm gonna continue this up over here and then we're gonna continue the design over here and I'll show you guys how we did this. And again, I'm just kind of winging this, but like I said before, leave you a little bit of material up here and just try to make sure that you follow your design. So this will be the, it looks good to me. All right. And then this stuff isn't permanent. And you can take it back off. You can maneuver it, you can wiggle it around, you can change it up a little bit, but it's camo and I'm very OCD. And this camo thing is driving me nuts trying to make like a design because the other side can't be the same as this and it's really gonna annoy me but let's see what we're gonna do with this and again it's camo like i keep saying there's there's no right or wrong i mean you can do it any way you want you can do big jumbo things like this you can do small things 
People do triangles. People do shapes. It really doesn't matter. So. Hey, brother. Huh? Yes. <laughs> After your bunch of doors. And I have my, I have my rough design down here, which I'm not showing you guys, but that's what I keep looking down at. You can't see that. Yeah. But that's why I'm sure it looks funny in the camera. Like I'm over here and I keep looking at the ground, like I'm looking at your feet, but I have my design down here, which is just kind of a, kind of a rough design. Like it really, this doesn't look like it. <laughs> Close. It's, it's somewhat, right? Yeah, it's close. <laughs> Ish. Ish. All right. So I think that's about what we're going to do with here. So you guys can see. So this is going to tuck right into this design, this line. I think that flows really well. I'm going to go back up over here. And we'll have this big single piece done. Then we'll start throwing in more colors. Okay, also guys, so y'all just saw me lay all the knifeless tape. A good thing to have is one of these tape measures. Here, we hold the camera. Is one of these tape measures, one of these flexible ones. So you can see, so we can measure the material. We can see how much so that we're not just losing so much material. So what we did is, Again, like on the last video, I use a garage door. Shops have a different way of doing it. We use garage door and magnets. Put the material up, it keeps it sturdy, especially if you're working by yourself. Luckily, I have Craig help me out. Measure it out. You got your extra material. Draw the line. You have the cutter. And then one of these little things. These things are amazing. So you got it all measured out, drawn, right? Yeah, the bottom line is not only across, okay. but it's marked. So, but I'll show you guys real quick what this does. I mean, this is just, get it, bam. Cuts the material, you have the lines drawn, you know exactly what you're doing. Easy peasy. That's how we do that. I just wanted to cut in real quick and show you guys. Probably going to do a time lapse of laying this over that real quick. Kind of show you guys how two people lay it down. Real simple stuff. Cool. So apparently Craig doesn't like the way I work. <laughs> so he told me to close this box and put it on the ground. So I threw it on the ground. It's an empty box. But here's color number two, satin black. Real simple, but it's not one of the leading colors. It's gonna be one of the small contrast colors that I'm using with this wrap. So there's not gonna be a lot of satin black on it. The car itself already has a lot of gloss black. That was my secondary color. I mean, the roof, the grill, the splitter, the spoiler, the tail lights, the, the windows are basically gloss black. So the wheels. <laughs> so the car has a lot of gloss black on it. The, the sand black is just going to be a little contrasting color just to give it um, a little something extra in my opinion. So we have this white piece done. We're gonna add some of the satin black real quick. I've got some little spots that I wanna do, just knock them out real quick. And then I'll show you guys the third color that's gonna go on the quarter panel back here. And then we're gonna get up here into the really interesting areas on the fender, going up on the hood, stuff of that nature. And I'm only gonna show you guys this half. This is just kind of a, a demo video of how to do this. Uh, so we'll see how far I get along with this because like I said, I got to have this done tonight. So I might just do this side for you guys and then show you the whole car tomorrow because I'm an asshole like that. And you're just going to have to watch the next video to see it because it's going to be a turkey drag. So let's get back on this. I got to get this satin black going. 
show you guys this little spot here and there. Okay, so I laid the tape down on some of the areas that we're gonna do the black. Uh, real small areas, so this should go by really quick. Um, I didn't realize how important it was gonna be to actually kind of get a, a rough draft of the car before doing it. This has been so beneficial to me. If I was just freehanding it, this would probably take me a long time because I would have to do it, lay it back, kind of step back. So I kind of have a rough idea, which is uh, very important until I start doing this more often. If I do this more often on other cars, then maybe I'll get a feel for it and I can just start freehanding and go a lot faster. But I'll show you guys real quick where the, where the black is going. Now I'm gonna knock those out real quick. I don't need to show you guys every single step of the way because it's just gonna make the video really long and redundant uh, with laying tape, putting wrap, cutting. It just, same process over and over and over again. I'm just building a design. So show you guys the black real quick. So as you guys can see right there at the top, kind of hard to see from way back here, but basically all this is is just little contrasting spots, uh, kind of putting more black down at the bottom because there's so much black up top, which is in my head what I'm trying to do with the black. We'll see how it comes out. I've, I don't know. We'll see, guys. Me. Craig said me. Me. He says I got a tree on the side of my car now. What? What is it doing? What's my car doing? <laughs> He's a little wavy guy. Here, blow up thing. Waving his arms. So we're actually gonna let Craig attack some of this. Can you squeegee? You on the chair? Oh, you got it. Okay. So, just showing you guys, I mean, one guy can do this stuff pretty easy. Lay it down. Uh, the other problem is it's a little cold in here. It's, what, in the 60s today? So the material's not liking it as much as if you were doing it during the spring or summer. But it is what it is. That's why the heat gun's here. Uh, this cheetah wrap is actually really, really user-friendly. So you can see he's kind of stretching it out, getting it where there's not as much. So the problem is you got that one recessed area right there. So it might be better off with the glove first. Um, that's what I would suggest. So to show you guys what recessed area I'm talking about. So right here in this body line, you got it where all, where you got like three points that all come together right here. And this one little spot right here is recessed. Dirty. So when you're laying a flat piece of vinyl, um, it doesn't want to just go in there as easy as possible. So with this satin black, you can really see the, the line, which is really nice, kind of give you a aspect of that. Yeah, I think this satin black is gonna be a nice little extra with the color. Oh yeah, see, Craig's knocking this out. Easy peasy. So I'm gonna start just laying design line and I think Craig's gonna start just knocking out these pieces. I think that's gonna be a great way to occupy both of our times and get this knocked out. Uh. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. All right, so we got these satin black pieces laid down. Man, I wish my car was satin black because it really accents the body lines. Now, I've come to the conclusion that I don't think I'm good at camo. <laughs> I'm gonna call this splatter camo. That is gonna be the name of my camo because I don't think I'm good at camo, but we're gonna see how this turns out anyway. So I'll show you guys. So the third color is about to be revealed, which is gonna be right here. And I'm starting to do it up here as well. A 
like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time. I'll probably get better at it as I go. Um, I have noticed some things that I probably should have done different already, but now that we already have material laid, I'm going with it and I'm going to have to kind of match that flow with the rest of what I'm laying, which is inconvenient because now I have splatter camo. That's what I'm going with. Like this is like paint splatter camo. That's mine. Trademark that shit. So it was just brought to my attention that I said I was going to reveal the third color and I got caught up talking about some other stuff. So let's see that last color. Really hard to tell. So I think this color is, where's the box? What is it? What is Cheetah's actual name for this? I think it's Satin Charcoal Metallic. That's the name of it, Satin Charcoal Metallic. Now, this is not the exact color of my Silverado, which you may have seen in other videos. That's 3M Satin Gray, Satin Dark Gray. But they're really close, and I wanted to kind of put that color on my car to kind of twinkie them up a little bit. So that's why I went with Satin Charcoal Metallic, Satin Pearl White, and Satin Black to all accent the Satin 3M Ocean Shimmer. And I'm hoping this gray kind of ties everything in because for right now, I think my car looks like a cow. Yeah. Moo, yeah. <laughs> Note to self, white and black splatter camo looks like cow print. All right, so the gray's done. We've got some tape laid out. We did some other stuff. Now, I'm still trying to plan the rest of it. I think we're going to hop to the other side and we're not going to finish the side completely. Maybe when we do, I'll record a little bit more, but other than that, man, this was just a quick how to video. And if you want to see the finished result, you're really just going to have to watch the video tomorrow or any of my next videos when it's in it. It does look so much better further away. I wish I could stand further back. So there will be more gray all up there and then incorporating a little bit more here and there. But this is the look I'm going for. The driver's side is going to look completely different. It not the same at all. So it's kind of cool. Uh, again, I'm trademarking this. This is my splatter camo. If you want splattered paint, that's a sticker. I got you. We will touch base in a little bit. I'm going to finish this side up. I will show you guys this full side. I think I'll show you guys this full side and then we'll end the video. I think that's only right. Yeah. But we're going to go work on the other side right now. So it's going to be a few hours before you guys even see this. But, well, as I get back, it'll be a few hours for us, but it'll be right now for you guys. We're finally done. I can't believe... I told you guys that I was gonna wait and show y'all this side complete because this is literally the last side that we did. The rest of the car's done, completely done. And we're a little past deadline. Oh well, I'm gonna show you guys this side's finished project for now. I think I'm gonna tweak some things later and maybe add some more down the road. But right now I'm really happy with how it looks. There's only one little piece that's not done yet that he's cutting for, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna get this video ready to get online. And then if you wanna see the full car, you're just gonna have to watch the next video. So <laughs> make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and give it a thumbs up. Why not, right? So after you do all that, then we're good. Like Craig said, what was that Craig? Thumbs up, good. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you guys at least this half of the car. Here we go.
So like I said, we're still gonna do that little piece. Maybe saw a little trunk and hood teaser. The front end looks sick, and I think the driver's side looks better than the passenger side, in my opinion. So you guys are just gonna have to wait and see that tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this video, man, like I said, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Uh, I really didn't wanna go and do a full build and show you guys each and everything. It was just kind of a quick DIY, a how-to, and then you can do it your own. Uh, I did every piece the exact same way with a knifeless tape, laid it down, cut it, trimmed it, every piece the exact same way. So stay tuned for tomorrow, guys. See you then.